Well guys, I have another haul for you and I know you how much you guys love hauls. I know how much you love vitamin C and I know how much you love when a haul mixes vitamin C, AKA the big H in the hauls. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christina Brawley. I am a board certified anesthesiologist, the CEO of Cloud9 Scrubs, and a content creator. On this channel, we explore products and gain knowledge and wisdom to help us live happier, more fulfilled, more productive lives. And of course, we love a little bit of luxury. So if you love luxury too, or you like watching luxury unboxings, give this video a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, what are you doing? Get subscribed, join the KB Hive, and let's have a little bit of fun, shall we? Uh, my goal is for you to either come away from one of these videos learning something, or escaping. And most of the time, it's a little bit of both. In this in this case, it's just gonna be an escape. I don't think we're gonna be talking too much about like learning life wisdom um, in a luxury haul, but you know, say love you. So let's get started. Outfit details are always linked in the description box. This shirt is from Target. So nobody says you have to be wearing head to toe designer to enjoy a little bit of luxury. And some of these pieces you're gonna find might be more up your alley perhaps than uh, like a full on handbag. So um, let's get started. So this haul actually comes from my very first ever experience shopping Hermes at uh, in New York City. And I happen to go to the one that most people have. It's a flagship. It's the, it's the New York flagship store, but I have zero purchase history there. However, I do have a profile. I have a spending profile within the Hermes company. I just don't have any contacts there. I've never met any of the sales associates. I've never let alone like walked into the store until this trip. Um, so it was sort of a, an interesting experience because like getting someone to help me, um, <laughs> kind of like going from there and like listing what I wanted. Um, I did ask for a bag. I didn't get it. That's okay. <laughs> I didn't expect to. I was just sort of like, yeah, I mean, I would love this, 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 or this if you have them. And they're like, oh, you know, it's impossible, this and that. And I got the same spiel. I will just say, I, I got really lucky with some of these items here, but I will just remind you that just shop at your own local boutique because that's where you have the best relationship. That's where you're bound to have sort of like you're, you know, I mean, you're, you're, you you know the people, right? So while I now have a contact in New York City, I'm not in New York City all the time. So I don't expect to be like treated the same. I don't know. Like I was treated very nicely. I was treated wonderfully actually. Um, but it, I know even for someone like me, it can still be intimidating walking in when you don't know anybody versus like walking into a store and being like, oh, let me talk to Susan. You know what I mean? It's just different. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with the big box first this time because I know how, how much you guys love this. Ah. So I did ask for a couple things and almost every single thing, actually every single thing except for a bag that I asked for, I got. And that just goes to show how good the selection is at the flagship boutique. I think they get stuff first, but then of course they have New York City clients, you know what I mean? So. <laughs> Um, I think the good stuff tends to go out pretty fast to their regular customers, which I completely understand. Um, so, but there are like a million Hermes boutiques. I was talking with um, one of my friends who's also on YouTube, I'll link her channel below, uh, Beth. She was mentioning that too, that there's so many. Look guys, okay, so I never got a, I never got a scarf this way. I didn't even know that they came with dust bags. Mine didn't get packaged in a dust bag last time, but I love that this one comes with one because now when I'm traveling, I can put this in my carry-on or in like my personal item and I don't have to worry about it getting snagged or anything. But basically what I asked for was another shawl because yours truly is now fully and well beyond like a huge fan of the Hermes shawl. Like, the silk scarves are not where it's at. I know a lot of people love them, myself included. The 90 centimeter scarves, don't. Y'all, this is the best. Like even if you get the 140 centimeter silk one, it's not the same as the cashmere and silk blend. And these are amazing because they're great for travel. They keep you warm, but they're they're cashmere. So they're very soft. They have the silk blend. So of course they're very drapey and, and soft to the touch, but this is where it's at, you guys, I'm telling you. Um, I had a TikTok and a reel that went viral and I was um, playing an Hermes employee in it and I wore the shawl and it's it's gorgeous. I mean, I just love it, it's in green, but I wanted something, I was asking for something a little bit more subdued, more 
subtle less like more neutral I was like looking for like black or navy or gray and we looked at a bunch of different colors a bunch of different options and this one even came in black but ultimately we decided that we really liked this one which had the gray and the navy tones to it but this is basically she mentioned something like as if it's a well-known I don't know maybe I'm just ignorant but some sort of well-known like giraffe motif I loved it I just thought it was gorgeous there's this giraffe here and it's like all the way up and it's there's all this foliage this lush foliage can you see there's her face and there's this amazing motif that's just so stunning that when you like open these up and you're like wow it's literally art and you don't really like, look there's two there's two and the trees and the bl i don't know it's just so cool and you would have no idea because someone's just you know wrapped it around themselves like a poncho and only little bits show off you know I, it's just so i just love the shawl i think it's amazing i'm messing up my hair because i'm getting so excited about it and yeah, I'm not gonna bother folding that until this video is over. <laughs> Moving on. So the next thing are two identical things in different hardwares and different colors. So I figure I'll just open them and we'll open them in whatever random order I happen to have them here. I have been, I probably could have picked all of this stuff up in my local boutique, but I don't know. I didn't, I hadn't asked or I hadn't been back in time to ask. So I figured, eh, I'll just, like meet a sales associate. If I'm gonna buy these pieces anyway, I may as well have another contact in New York who might feel like helping me out with a bag one day or something, you know, like spread the love, if you will, um, across a couple boutiques. So I needed a, two Kelly belts. I wanted two Kelly belts because I wanted them to be, I wanted an adjustable belt that I could wear on my waistband with all the cute, fun springtime dresses. I'm getting into dresses again and um, I'm excited that I'm getting into dresses. I think they're really easy, um, easy to wear, easy to pair and like throw together a look really fast, especially as a mom. So I got two Kelly belts. One is this gold with palladium hardware. And um, you can see here, I haven't even taken the stickers off because I clearly haven't worn it. I just took it back home from New York. But basically the really cool thing about these belts is that they are adjustable. They have these like loops on either side, you can see there. And so you can wear this pretty much at almost any length. I'll try and find out the minimum and maximum measurements so that if you wanted to see if a Kelly belt would fit you and you're interested in maybe buying one online um, from the Hermes website or wherever, then you would be able to know. Just imagine this is a dress. Like imagine this is a big, like, look at that. It's just so chic. And the cool thing is, you know, you can change it up based on what your outfit is. Like I have one Hermes Constance belt um, it is reversible, like two-tone, but the problem is, is that it's like sized to my, not to my waist, but to like just above my hips. So I could really only fit, like there's only so much wiggle room I have in that belt, um, but it will not definitely, it will certainly not fit my natural waist. So, um, so I, I'm really excited that I'll have a belt that will fit anywhere I want it to, so. So as you can imagine, since this, I said it was the same thing, but a different color and hardware, we have, do we have a guess? Did I go with the color? Of course I didn't. Because <laughs> if I have one in gold with palladium hardware, you can bet that the next one will be black. Now I had my pick of the litter on this and I asked on a whim, I said, look, I would love black with gold hardware because I think it's classic, but I also have quite a few pieces in the gold leather that I think this would look really well as a more casual look. And she brought out black with gold hardware and she brought out gold with palladium hardware, which is what I ended up purchasing. And I said, in the end, I said, would you mind, does it even exist as a black with rose gold hardware? And she was like, let me check. Certainly, let me go back and check for you. And she did and she was like, you're like, hitting out of the park. You're like three for three already. I don't know what's going on, but like everything you want we have. Um, and I was like, ee! so we have rose gold hardware because I have a Constance in black with rose gold hardware. I have a Birkin 30 in black with rose gold hardware. And I was like, you know what? It's just that little bit of tonal difference that I think I would prefer to have the rose gold because from far away, like Hermes rose gold is not super pink. So it can actually pull off as gold, but it will really play up the rose gold when it's paired with other rose gold things. So I just think it's lovely, it's stunning. I am over the moon, I think it's gorgeous. And 
it's um it's perfect it even has its own little like not serial number but it has like stamping very cool i'm excited about it but these like little like mittens they're like belt mittens i don't know <laughs> it's just so cute this one was like she was like gosh you know like i could tell she felt really bad about not being able to get a bag for me and i was like she was like is there anything else on your wish list that you want and I was like, well, I mean, I'll always take a Pegasus. I've never had a Pegasus before. I've never like seen one, let alone been offered one. She's like, any particular colors in case we have one? I was like, no girl, just, you know, whatever you think's cute. I trust your opinion. <laughs> I do that a lot. Like, I don't know if this helps or not, but like I place a lot of trust in the taste of my sales associates because I'm like, they work there clearly. I mean, they have taste. They, they know that what's good and they know like what comes in all the time versus what doesn't come in and what's super rare and what's really uncommon and and what's really special and maybe I don't I'm not I'm not an expert you know in these things and so I like to kind of put the ball in their court and say look hey I you know you've seen what I've picked out you've seen what's on my wish list like if there's something that based on that you think I would like like just pick that you know I trust you so and um I don't know. I just like to do that. Like, let's say, like, let them, let them do their job. You know what I mean? This is not just like, they're not couriers. They're not runners. They don't, you know, like let them, let them exercise their talents and their skills. So I did that. And this is what she came up with. Oh my stinking God. Talk about the cuteness of the cutes. This is an Hermes Pegasus charm. It's like a Rodeo, but with wings. And I do have a couple, do I have one or two? I have one Rodeo and one Savannah charm, which is like the uh, zebra. And this one is in three of the hottest colors of the moment, Cray, Chai, and Mauve Sylvest. Gorgeous. I have the Magnolia Birkin, I think she would look really good on. This would also look equally good on any of my gold bags. I'm holding them up like I'm looking looking at them right now or even my rose gold hardware etan birkin 30. so she's precious gorgeous i am so excited to finally have my first pegasus because oh gorgeous lovely 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 and they ain't cheap so she's gonna get used and loved well guys that's it for this portion of the hermes haul thank you so much for watching go ahead and smash that like button and if you are new here subscribe i make videos three to four times a week and i would love to have you back leave a comment letting me know which of your which of these things was your favorite was it the shawl was it one of the kelly belts and if so like what color or was it the pegasus charm let me know in the comments below bye